freedom means, in a complete freedom, it means no limits, no boundaries, um, nothing that you, you can't be or can be. So it's, it's, it's something you can't imagine. Really, the whole of that, the only way is to get there. If I can. It's hard work. Yes. It's the kidaces. It's the kidaces, and the kidaces are set up by Kamla. It's just a sort of uh, vicious circle. So we, we get kilesas and kilesas. Um, uh, because kilesas are there, they give rise to bad kamna. Because if they're bad kamna, that increases the kilesas. So it's going around all the time. And the, the aim is to break them. The thing is that you've got to uh, see this. We've all got to try and uh, let go of our attachments. The attachments are the thing that hold us. And the attachments come from wanting. And tana. And those uh, attachments keep, keep going on and on and keep us going. Now we see that the the uh, nature of feeling is very important. Feeling is a result from karma. Feeling is not karma in itself. It's a result. And feeling is very important because it's a result of the past. Uh, but because of that result, when there's an unpleasant feeling comes up from bad karma, there is a tendency to react with trying to stop the feeling. Yeah. And turn it into a bad pleasant feeling. But because of that, one, one then has a desire to stop it. So one does things based on greed, or hate, or delusion. Was trying to stop that feeling. And that that reaction is come That's the come that people make. And that come if they go that way, tends to produce a future situation almost exactly like it came up here. Came up in the first place. In other words, the, 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 the um, feeling arose because of bad come what I've definitely I've done in the past. And, and the, the Kamba gives rise to a reaction which makes them do something very similar to what one did in the past. So it's very funny on the often getting worse. So it's mindfulness to prevent the feeling? Uh, you, you, not to prevent the feeling, no. To prevent that reaction. The reaction is the important. Yes. Mindfulness can, can watch the feeling, be aware, aware of it. It comes rather to uh, all one has to say is one looks inside. When, if for instance a feeling of anger starts to come up, feeling that the look is dry strain, then if one's trained oneself, one has a sort of red flag that comes up inside like a red flag that comes up, warning flag. And then one, one stops and looks at the feeling. But isn't the anger in itself also a, a negative karma? No, if one looks at the feeling, the feeling is not negative karma and the, the looking is not negative karma. 
The anger really only comes about when the reaction takes place. That's the anger. But we call it an angry feeling because it gives rise to that reaction. The feeling's just neutral. But it's unpleasant. It's a bit, it's neutral in the sense that it, it doesn't, doesn't actually do anything. Uh, it's we who actually react to it. We dislike it. People get get uh, anger coming up. They give way to anger. Really, the reaction is the giving way to that feeling. Instead of saying this feeling is my own fault, I created it, and so I must put up with the unpleasantness. If a person says like that, then. The, that comma steadily goes less and less and less. Because there's no reaction. Yeah. Now, however bad that feeling is, that's, that feeling can be very bad if one's prepared to watch it and put up with it without reacting, without giving way to any uh, expressions, any speech, any thought, speech, or, or action. Of anger, then it, it gets it dies away, and to that extent the come is less. It comes up again, but it won't be as strong. And if one does that uh, steadily over a period of time, that comes will die completely. It's so quick. Yes. You normally you can't catch it, but the thing to do is, um, you, usually, a person if they try to do this, they uh, they forget and they give way to the usual reaction. But then, if they've been thinking about this, they will suddenly realise, oh, I should have stopped it. And. If they do, do this several times, it becomes closer and closer to the time when you can catch it. Once you learn to catch it, then then one can can steadily get rid of it. Nowadays anger is an important one. But there's also greed. Greed, greed can go in a very, very similar way. Because of unpleasant feeling, the person looks for something to placate the feeling. For instance, somebody feels bored. They say, oh, I'll go to the pub and have a drink of beer or something. That, that's the same thing. Really. And the results are uh, equally bad in their way. The, the nature of delusion is, is very difficult to overcome. Um, it's, the first way of overcoming the delusion is to overcome greed and hate. Those are two two main ones that come out, uh, the strong ones. And they are the two arms of delusion, the active ones. The delusion is much more passive and it involves many things, but the very important ones are ones one learns when one was very young. When one was very young, one learned all sorts of things, um, and 
one was in no state to criticize or to consider whether they're true or whether they're, they're right. And because it was so, uh, when the mind was in a sort of yielding, soft state, it goes in very deep, very strong. And that can remain with a person throughout their life quite easily. And it's, uh, there's a lot of delusion in those, in what one learns. Thank you.